My name is Jesper Gravgaard. I'm responsible for the smart contract language of the Partitia blockchain. And today I'll be showing you how to put uh, smart contracts on the blockchain. You can think of a blockchain like an immutable ledger, where records are added one at a time. When a record has been added to the blockchain, it cannot be deleted and it cannot be tampered with. A smart contract is then a program that lives on the blockchain. An example of a smart contract that can be used on the Patricia blockchain is an auction. In this example, we have Alice who wants to sell 100 tokens of type A. And she's interested in getting the best possible price for these. So she puts an auction up on the blockchain. In that auction, she specifies that she wants to sell tokens of type A and in return, she's interested in tokens of type B. So she creates the smart contract and puts it on the blockchain. Now everyone can actually see that the smart contract is available and can interact with it. So in this example, we first have Bob who uh, bids 300 tokens of type B uh, and is now the highest bidder. Now Carl comes along and uh, is also interested in purchasing these tokens. So he bids 350 tokens and is now the highest bidder. Finally, Denise at the last moment bids 400 tokens and becomes the highest bidder. When the time of the auction has run out, then uh, Alice executes it and automatically the funds from Denise is transferred to Alice and the 100 tokens that Alice put up for sale is transferred to Denise. And now the auction has been completed. And the advantage of putting the smart contract on the blockchain itself is that the code of the smart contract will actually be part of the immutable ledger. And having the code as part of the immutable ledger has the advantage that everyone who uses the smart contract can be certain that things in the transaction happen exactly as it's described in the code. I'll now show you what a smart contract for the auction could actually look like. So what we are looking at here on the screen is the uh, code that actually uh, describes how a bid in the auction works. So as you can see here, the amount that is bid is entered as a parameter to the bid itself. And what happens in the code here, even if it looks a little bit daunting, is actually pretty readable if you just look carefully through it. What we do is that we initiate a transfer of the tokens from the person bidding to the smart contract itself. That means that the tokens that you're bidding will be held in escrow on the smart contract until the auction has been completed or until a higher bidder comes along. So the bid itself uh, is turned into a transfer that is then sent to the token contract. The token contract sends the token onto the auction contract and then it does a callback to the auction contract telling it now the transfer completed. And this is received in the bid callback function that we see here. The callback function first checks whether the transfer was successful. If it was not successful, then it does nothing further. If the transfer was successful, the callback function first checks is it, a, is it a valid bid, meaning is the time of the bid uh, where the bid was received after or before that the auction ends? Is the amount that is bidded actually higher than the current highest bid? And is it higher than the minimum price you have to bid? Is, if all of these criteria are fulfilled, then it is a new highest bid and uh, the bid is actually uh, put on the contract itself as the new highest bidder, so everyone can see the highest bid. If these criteria are not fulfilled, then the tokens that were transferred are put into a claims map, so that the person who bid it and did not get a highest bid can claim the tokens back out again. Now I'll show you how to put a smart contract on the Partici blockchain. To put the smart contract on the blockchain, you first have to get the compiler for compiling the smart contract. And to get that, you go to the Partici blockchain homepage. There you find the developer section and when you enter the developer section you find the smart contract section. On the smart contract section you have to download the Partitia contract SDK. When you download the SDK you first have to install a Rust compiler and then anything that's needed to run the Rust compiler on, on your system and finally uh, you have to extract the Partitia contract SDK. Inside the SDK, you find everything that's needed for creating smart contracts. So now you're ready for coding the contract. 
uh, using your editor of choice and you program it in Rust. The easy way is to start with one of the example contracts that is included with the download. When you have made the changes you want to the smart contract, then you can compile it using the compiler. And you do that by entering cargo partitia contract build and you add slash slash release to actually make a release version that can go on the uh, blockchain. When you start the compilation, it'll take a little while for the compiler to do the compilation. And uh, if everything is good with the contract, you will get two files out of it. One is a web assembly file that is the program of the contract itself. The other is an API file that describes the interface. Now you're ready to put it on the blockchain. So if you go to the blockchain dashboard and log into your wallet, then you will be able to click on deploy web assembly contract. And here you can select the web assembly file that was produced and the ABA file that was produced. And now the blockchain actually uh, reads the contract interface definition and gives you a form where you can fill out the information you want to initialize the contract with. So we're going to be creating Alice's uh, smart contract here, with this, which is the auction of tokens of type A. So first we will enter that it is 100 tokens we want to sell. Then we will enter the address of the token contract holding token A, which is what we are selling. The address of the token contract holding token B, which is what we want to receive. The 200 tokens, that is the minimum price the 50 tokens, that is the minimum increment in price, and finally a duration. Uh, here we choose 1000 uh, block times. And then we click on the button to actually create the contract. And now you can see the contract is being created on the blockchain. It takes a little while because it has to reach the entire blockchain and all of the nodes. But as soon as it is complete, you can see that a transaction was added. The transaction contains an uploaded smart contract. You can click on the contract itself and actually see the state of the contract where we can see that this is an auction with the 100 tokens of type A being put up for sale and token B being the type of token that we want to receive. Now I've shown you everything that you need to know to actually create your own smart contracts for the Partizia blockchain. You can uh, code the contract to work like you want it to, you can put it on the blockchain and you can have other people use it in the way that you want them to be able to use it.